Hello, so we're going to try to record some Muse data. So you have your Muse and you have your smartphone. So uh, let's get going with that. First thing first, um, turn on the Muse. So I press the power button. And it does this. And uh, let's see if I can see it with my phone. So what you'll do, depending if you have an iPhone or Android phone, you always have to go to the settings. And then, I'm not sure we can see here very well. Like this. Uh, Bluetooth and then search. So it's searching for available devices on Bluetooth. Hopefully it will find something. That's the first step, but that's not the easiest step. It says available device, none. So what I'd like to do is actually press for 10 seconds here until it blinks. So I'm going to power it back on. Now it blinks. So now I think it should pair. So I search again for Bluetooth devices. And just to check, I don't have it. Oh, now it's here. I'm just going to click it, touch it, it says do you want to pair, yes I want to pair, here it is paired. So now I'm going to click on this, just make sure it's connected. And then I go to the Muse Monitor. So if you haven't downloaded the Muse Monitor, what you do is that you go to the Apple Store or the Android Store and you search for Muse Monitor and then it's going to download it. And then you should have an icon here, Muse Monitor. So it's telling us, you can't really read the text here. Okay, it found the Muse. Here it is, collecting data. You have different buttons in the Muse Monitor. Usually to see the the traces, you would click that button. And it switches between the different views. So I like to see the raw data. So I'm not, I'm not going to put it, up, put it on. So what I do is I have a glass of water. And I just like to touch the electrodes with a little bit of water here, like this. And then same for this rubber part right here. So it ensures good contact. And then you put it on like this. Okay, so now let's look at what's happening. So we see my blinks and the data looks pretty good. See when I'm blinking and now I'm gonna clench my jaws So the data is good. It's for some uh, reason one channel gets crazy. Uh, just spend some time to try to get four good channels so they don't look very noisy. Like for instance, I don't know if I can make one channel noisy, but um, let's see if I unstick one. Yeah, you see this channel is noisy now. So what you so when it happens, I just remove the headset, put it back on, put a bit more water, just try to make them all look look nice. So when you collect some data, when it stayed bad. So when you collect some data, it's actually going to be you can use all the channels. So now they're back to normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the record button right here. 
So that's the red button. So here it is recording. Alarm units monitor, yes. Okay. It is recording the data. So it says recording data. Once I'm done, after five minutes, you're done recording your, your data. You press the stop button. And then it says, how do you want to export your data? So you have the choice here, Google Drive, Dropbox, or you can simply mail yourself the data. Uh, if it's not too big, the ideal, the good solution is to mail yourself the data because it's just very simple. You're going to receive an email. So I'm pressing the mail button, loading on my email, and then I'm going to send it to myself and then you just have to enter two and then you press send okay it just sent the file so that's it that's how you record some uh, muse data once you're done just uh, remove the headset turn it off by leaving this button press for uh, a few seconds and then don't forget to charge it so to charge it, you use the cable. I don't know if I have one here as example. Uh, yes, I do, right here. So you put the cable on and then you plug the other side either to a wall charger or to a computer. The Muse monitor will also tell you how much battery is left, so, so you know. Uh, where you stand. So that's the first video, it's just to collect some data, you put it on, collect uh, like for instance five minutes of data, send yourself the file using either Google Drive or um, email or Dropbox and then you were back on your computer. So the next video I'm going to show you how to import the data in EGLab and start doing some processing. So I forgot to mention two things in the previous video. First, it's this nice little interface right there. This nice little cap that tells me it just disappeared already. But you know, it shows which electrodes are good or bad. So basically you want them all to be full. And once they're all full, it automatically disappears. Okay, now it's gone. So that's what you want. But also you want to look at the traces and see that the traces are good. The other very important thing I didn't mention is that you need to go into the settings right here and press on uh, the recording interval. And there you want to select constant. Because by default it just records one value per second. So that's not the raw data that's just one value per second and we can't do much with that so we need the raw data so for this we select constant and basically when you import the data so here I say constant and then because when you report it, record the data you should be able to see on the computer the same thing that you see on the phone so when you blink you should see the blink here I just blink or the jaw clenching so that's basically uh, what you'll do. You'll uh, your uh, a nice exercise would be to start recording some data. So I'm just going to press the record button here, and then do uh, ten blinks, okay, and then do some jaw clenching. And then you can close your eyes for about one minute. Try to do a little meditation to see if you can observe some alpha. So I'm not going to do for a minute, but uh, you get the idea. Then so once I'm done, I'm going to press stop. Last time I saved to Gmail, but sometimes the files are too big, so I can just 
uh, save it to the drive and it asks me for the file name okay now it's saved to the drive and then once I go on my Google Drive on my computer I can just download uh, that file okay that's it thanks